There's a saying that, quote, we stand on the shoulders of those who have gone before us. Climbing atop those shoulders is one thing. Striving to gain our balance once we have arrived is another. But the perspective we experience from this vantage point encourage us to stand tall and trustingly. Uh, I was excited to hear that U.S. News and World Report ranked us the, the best regional hospital in the state of Arkansas. Um, honestly, it, it just affirmed what I think I already knew in my heart. There's all sorts of competition in this community to say uh, how good different hospitals are. And what this is, is an outside group that has come in and in an unbiased way looked at our hospital and said, we're superior to anybody else in the state. It's not only Little Rock we're superior to, it's anybody in the state. And that is a great, great distinction to have. It's an honor that um, St. Vincent was selected, and especially our Department of Geriatrics is one of the eight listed in the top specialties in the state of Arkansas. Lots of healthcare institutions advertise about quality and technology, and you know, how, so how the, is the consumer to know? Look at the results of the patients who get their care at St. Vincent. They can't get it unless they have good doctors working together with good nurses and great technology. That's what we have and that's why our results are so good. We've got the technology, we have the experience, the expertise, and um, great nursing care. So when you put it all together, it uh, comes down to a great experience for the patients. I trained in a magnet hospital, but I have to say that the nurses here excel far beyond uh, what I experienced in my training and it's been a true pleasure to work with many of them and they teach me every day too. If there is any hospital that uh, wants a model of nursing and uh, wants to learn from it, this will be the place to come to. There's just a spirit here that is unlike anywhere else that, I, that I've ever, ever been and it's uh, an idea of, of collaboration and working together I think for the better of uh, improving our patients' lives. I'm blessed. Uh, St. Vincent has the most incredible staff that I work with. Uh, the attitude is incredible. Uh, it's obvious that they're dedicated to their job, and I, I think patients sense that. Any healthcare institution that has survived uh, 125 years clearly has done some things has done some things right. I think the nuns would be astounded. I think the sisters would be amazed uh, at what progress has been made uh, since they founded this institution. The way this uh, hospital is being led right now uh, uh, by the uh, leaders and administration, you know, it's clear that, that quality is important, it's clear that the patient is important, it's clear that minimizing suffering is important. I think that they would really be proud of this. The sisters that started here came with a mission and we're here because of them. That mission continues today. Those nuns came here with a spirit to, of compassion and, and sacrifice to take care of sick patients. They were here to, because they thought that, that we needed a hospital. And they built one, and then they made a great hospital of it. We've got the technology to do it. That's obvious now. But there's also that special feeling of community that I think this hospital has had and embodies uh, to this day. It's just different. What we have here is, I think, is really good. And uh, we pride ourselves by uh, wanting to be uh, the best in the world, not because we want to boast about it, just because it's good for patients. Some of the providers of the equipment, the imaging equipment in this, in this suite that we're standing in right now have told us that there's none better in the United States. And this is a, a source of great pride for us. When people come into the facilities and see how much St. Vincent's has invested in uh, the renovation, um, not only the cosmetic appearance on the outside, but really just a friendly staff. Everybody seems to have the same goal in common of trying to get the best care for the patients and um, just a warm, friendly environment. If people have the opportunity to walk through the halls of the new Jack Stevens Heart Institute and our new facilities, the new cath labs and EP labs, if they have the opportunity to look inside the hybrid OR and to see what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis, they realize that this is much, much more than, than just a community hospital. We're the best hospital, we do it the most economic way, and it makes a huge difference now and it'll certainly make a big difference in the future. 
Although the past should be appreciated, I'm not necessarily a person of the past. I learn from the past. But it's always the present that I'm interested in, and even more the future. Because I think the future, to a certain extent, can be formed if one has the courage and the conviction and the willingness to plan for it.